join me today at Manchester Piccadilly Station because today we're going to be visiting every single station online that really has a cult following known as the Woodhead Route but today it's actually known as the Glossop Line and we're going to be visiting all stations between Manchester Piccadilly and Glossop and Hadfield. So before I leave Manchester Piccadilly, let's talk about Manchester Piccadilly Station. It actually opened in 1842 by the Manchester Birmingham Railway as Manchester Store Street, replacing Manchester Travis Street. In 1847 it was renamed to Manchester London Road, and in 1960 it was renamed to Manchester Piccadilly. I'm going to head over for my train now, the 1033 Northern Service, which will take us to Ashbury's. So we have now just left Manchester Piccadilly on this gold tier train, the class 323. Now technically even though Ashbury is the first station on this route, it's technically not the first station because there is Ardwick as well. So we're just passing through Ardwick. And speaking of Ardwick station, it's literally just right behind me here. I've actually walked it from Manchester Piccadilly and it takes about 20 minutes to be honest. But this is my very first time being here at Ardwick as well. Never touched this station in my life. But it's right next door to Ardwick Depot and it's also next door to the West Coast Main Line. You can get some lovely views of the West Coast Main Line from this railway station as well. But this railway station is just after the junction where the services towards Ashbury's and Guy Bridge do branch off the West Coast Main Line as well. So let's dive into the history of Ardwick Station. It opened on the 20th of November 1842 by the Sheffield Ashton under Lyme and Manchester Railway. And obviously you're going to be hearing that name a lot today as we head towards Hadfield and Glossop. So usually I do this towards the end of the video, but I'm actually going to be putting this on screen right now. I just want to say a huge thank you to the YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters who their names are on screen right now. And I want to say a huge thank you to them who help support the channel. It is honestly really appreciated. But anyway, I'm going to leave Ardwick now and get off at Ashbury Station. So we have now reached the first station at Ashbury's. Now Ashbury's opened on the 1st of July 1855 by the Sheffield Ashton under Lyme and Manchester Railway. Also in 1855 it was actually renamed Ashbury's for Open Shore. And in 1856 it was renamed again for Ashbury's for Bellevue. Also with Ashbury Station, it's actually the junction station for services to go along the Hope Valley Line towards Romley and onto Sheffield. And it's also a junction for the freight only line to Phillips Park Junction, which I think that actually goes to Manchester Victoria to be honest. But I only had 20 minutes here to be honest because I'm leaving on the 1055 Northern service to Rose Hill Marple. And the next few stations that I'm stopping at, you have to get the Rose Hill Marple services to get to these stations. So the next station I'll be visiting is Gorton. So we have now made it to the next location, Gorton. And honestly, only the Hadfield and Glossop services do call at this station 
during peak time only, during off-peak, it's all the Rose Hill Marple services. So between Ashbury's and Guy Bridge, I've got to rely on the Rose Hill Marple services. Also, Gorton, the next station, Fairfield, is actually the start point of the Fallowfield Loop Line, which saw trains go towards Fallowfield and Manchester Central. That line has long since closed, but you can actually walk that line, to be honest. I would love to walk that line again one day. I have done it before, but I'd love to do that again. So we're now going to dive into the history of Gorton Station. The first station opened on the 23rd of May 1842 by the Sheffield, Ashton under Lyme and Manchester Railway. But that station was a bit further in that direction towards Manchester. The current station I'm standing on actually opened on the 26th of August 1906 by the Great Central Railway. But when that was opened, it was actually named Gorton and Openshaw. Also around this area in Gorton, used to have Gorton Locomotive Works, or the Gorton Tank. It was opened by the Sheffield, Ashton, Underlime and Manchester Railway in 1848. And they actually built steam locomotives here. Until about 1963 when the site closed and everything was transferred to crew. Now we are leaving Gorton because I've only got 30 minutes here for the next Rose Hill Marple train. And this will take us to Fairfield. And this is due here at 11.28. When I get to Fairfield though, I've actually got an hour's way to that station. So let's catch that train now to the next station, Fairfield. So this is the next station I'm stopping off at today. This is Fairfield. And honestly, it's only got two platforms, but it did used to have six platforms. Now, on the other side of platform two, there used to be two platforms there as well, because Fairfield used to be a four-track bay line. You can still see those platforms on the other side, as you see on screen right now. And also, in this direction I'm pointing at right now, is there used to be two platforms there as well, which are covered by trees, but they used to be the Fallowfield loop line platforms that took trains towards Manchester Central. So let's dive into the history of Fairfield Station. Now, this is not the original station because that was a bit further towards Manchester. And that opened in 1841 by the Sheffield, Ashton under Lyme and Manchester Railway. When it was open though, it was actually named Fairfield for Droyston. This station I'm currently standing on was opened on the 2nd of May 1892, the same day as the Fallowfield Loop Line opened towards Manchester Central. And this was opened by the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway. The Fallowfield Loop Line actually closed in 1958, but the station at Fairfield, which used to have six platforms, still remained open. So also all the stations I've been to so far have these lovely boards right here about the Gossip Line, which was awarded Community Rail status in 2013 by the Department for Transport. And honestly, they do tell you a lot of history about this line and railway stations along the route. But what I'm pointing out right now is, is something that used to run this line from Manchester Piccadilly to Rose Hill Marple. And yes, it's the train that never dies. That's right, this is I used to be operating with pacer trains. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, this line did have a cult following with rail enthusiasts because the Woodhead route was actually a line from Manchester to Sheffield. It actually went to Sheffield Victoria Station, which went through the Woodhead Tunnel and through Pelliston Station. However, though, in the 1950s, the line was actually electrified and the cathedral we actually see today actually dates from the 1950s when the line was electrified. And it had electric locomotives operating this line until at least 1981 when the line was actually closed between Hadfield and Penniston, which also the Woodhead Tunnels closed as well. But you still see services today operating local services between Manchester, Piccadilly, Hadfield and Glossop.
it stop. So we have now come to Guy Bridge Railway Station. Honestly, this is one of my favourite stations of the entire network. You just come here and film trains and you get all sorts of different trains. You get passenger trains, freight trains, and it's just an amazing location to be honest. Also, this station is the junction station for services that divert off the Woodhead route or the Gossip line towards Stadium Bridge with Transpel Express. And also, there's a branch line down here which sees trains that go towards Stockport, and that's used by the once a day service between Stockport and Stadium Bridge. Let's dive into the history of Guy Bridge Railway Station. This station opened on the 11th of November 1841 by the Sheffield, Ashton, Under Lime and Manchester Railway. When it was opened though, it was actually named Ashton. Now also during its time, it was actually named Ashton and Ahuli Hill. It wasn't until the 14th of July 1845, it got the name Guy Bridge. Now right behind me here is a coal wagon and that coal wagon does look lovely indeed. But it's here because of the Friends of Guybridge Railway Station which helped maintain the station. And honestly they've really done a great job with this railway station as well. I also mentioned that Guy Bridge is also a junction station for services towards Staley Bridge and Stockport as well. But it did actually have another line, which is long since gone. But it did see trains go towards Oldham as well from here. But anyway, we're now going to catch the 1312 Northern service at 323 again to head to the next station, Flowery Field. So we have now made it to Flowery Field Station. Honestly, you don't see much traffic at this location. Just your Manchester Piccadilly to Hadfield or Glossop services that stop here. But the line between Manchester Piccadilly and Guy Bridge is more busier. As you get services diverting off the Glossop line towards the Hope Valley line towards Sheffield. Transpel Express services to Stay Bridge, Huddersfield and Leeds. And also just before this station, there's another station about a six minute walk away, Hyde North which is where your Rose Hill Marple services divert off as well. But honestly, we're going to continue on with this video from Flowery Field in the future. Please do hit the subscribe button to see that. And right now we're going to pop a video right here. Feel free to give that a click. And I've been Simon Trains. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you for the continuation of the Glossop line in the future down the line.